Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Tifa and today I'm going to show you guys the behind the scenes of my Sailor Moon photo shoot. So let's get into cosplay and meet the other Sailor Scouts. I don't know what you don't like. Look how cute! Look how cute Emmy looks. Adorable. Hi! Hi. <laughs> we have we have a Hana here. Who are you dressed as today, Hana? I said Mom. <laughs> and then we have Courtney, who is Sailor Mercury. Woo! <laughs> off at a studio setting up with the photographer for solo shots and then duo shots. We actually ended up liking the photos we took outside the studio better than the ones we took in the studio, especially as we did a lot of group shots out there so we ended up doing duos and also a few single shots outside and they just kind of looked a little more cohesive but I did film a lot more inside the studio than outside. It was really interesting trying to figure out how we wanted the costumes to look on camera and what we wanted the final product to be. We tried a lot of different things like spraying water around, throwing little bits of paper up behind the model, and even blowing some smoke around, which you'll see later in the video, in order to get some really cool effects. Some of these poses feel really awkward when you are in them, but they end up looking really great on camera. Of course, behind the scenes, everyone's always mucking around, especially when we're taking solo shots because, well, there's a fair few of us, so a lot of us are waiting around to get our photo taken. Here we are throwing paper up in the air that has kanji on it behind Hana who is dressed as Sailor Mars in order to get that really cool effect. And then we tried this smoke kind of technique <laughs> um, in order to get cool smoke effects behind her as well. We always have moments where the photographer is moving us around to try and angle us a little better towards the camera because sometimes things feel more natural but they don't look as good on camera, especially when it comes to little things like positioning of hands towards the face and with the lighting because sometimes where we naturally would put our hands can cause some shadows so we can't really see that but the photographer can. look absolutely amazing in their costumes. A few of us actually did make our costumes and a few people bought their costumes just for the photo shoot which was really cool as well and I think that we all matched each other pretty well. It's kind of cool seeing all these characters come to life and actually getting to be these characters is kind of insane. <laughs>
This duo shop that we got of Sailor Moon and Sailor Chibi Moon was one of my favorite shops that we got as well. It was a lot of fun and was really creative to do, so props to our photographer. We also got some really cute duo shots outside that were quite funny and really in character. Eventually we did end up outside and this is where the vast majority of our photos were actually taken. They were some really cool shots that we were able to get at night in the city area but obviously we got stopped by a fair few kids and people because we are all in costume in a big group so that was quite an interesting experience as we tried to get all of these photos together. But that pretty much concludes the footage of the behind the scenes of our Sailor Moon photo shoot. So that's behind the scenes of our Sailor Moon photo shoot. I had a lot of fun and I thought that the pictures ended up coming out really well. So I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some behind the scenes snippets of what we get up to at a photo shoot. Of course it was incredibly cold outside and it's kind of hard to take photos outside in a public space when you're all dressed up as pretty well-known characters and everybody wants to stop you to take photos but that is fine of course. We're all doing this to have some fun and I hope that you guys enjoy the images and kind of the finished project as much as we did creating these costumes and doing this photo shoot. If you want to see more cosplay orientated videos then let me know down below. I do have a couple up of things that I've created or little lookbooks that I've done so I would love your input on whether or not you'd like to see more cosplay related content. That's all for today's video and if you want to see more otaku related content then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!